kept me coming back here after I... I guess a lot of that stuff is, I don't know. I, I like it because it's just like simple and cool. And like, and it's like I don't know, I just fuck with it. And the shorts especially, like the shorts, like I have a billion pairs, whatever. Whatever brand, you name it, arm bar, mm -mm. whatever. I got it all. But I guess what drew me to it is just like how chill it is, how relaxed it is. Like just laid back, like come train and we chill after. Yeah, it's like you cozy. <laughs> you yeah. just chill in it, go, you know, be a beast in it, <laughs> and then go home, whatever, put, put your other shorts on, uh, just chill. But um, I like the aesthetic. It's like he said, it's simple. Um, you know, some of the stuff can be a little flashy, depends on what your personal style is. But I, uh, I would like to, you know, probably dive into that a little bit more to see if we could actually make something happen with the clothing and stuff like that. would be cool. I think for me, at least when you say like culturally for some reason, it just goes back to like, you know, I'm obviously a black man and in, in, in the sport where there's not really, I guess we don't have that much of representation. So um, I just, I mean, I guess I realize that, you know, I'm like a my minority in this sport and I'd like to just, you know, make people aware that this is another option and it's a great option. Uh, but like uh, my people <laughs> need to need to get in here and do their thing. Shit, I forgot the question. What was it again? <laughs> <laughs> just ask it again. <laughs> I, probably didn't, I probably didn't even answer the right question. <laughs> Honestly, like the people in here are all super creative and super like intellectual. So it opened me up to a whole bunch of different things like going outside and hiking or like doing some shit in Adobe or shit like that, buying a camera, you know, like go and and like honestly the people in here travel a lot too. So it's opened, it's opened me up to that. Like I just want to get out of here and like go different places, train in different countries and shit like that. What's your ideal, what's your ideal like gym five, gym five? So yeah, my ideal gym environment, obviously a place that's welcoming, um, a place where I feel like I can be myself and uh, have a community that, that backs me. It's probably the main thing. Um, just a gym where you know everybody goes hard. I don't want to. I don't want to go to practice and then know I'm going to have light rolls back to back to back to back. It doesn't make sense for me to, to put my body through that. Like I'd rather put my body through hell, know I did the work, and came out stronger on the other side than you know have a, a lackluster gym experience. Since you logged into one gym, based on what you have here, what would your ideal gym environment? Be? just like this this one um shit we go hard and at the end of the day where it's all love you know what i mean i love that gritty vibe that like damn these dudes just come in here and wreck each other love that shit sweat on the fucking mat shit like that that's the vibe for me and then after it's all good like whatever where are we gonna eat after <laughs> Uh, 
never. No, nah. no, nah, I, <clears throat> I think it goes in like phases. Um, because even sometimes I'll try and think back to when I was either a white belt or a blue belt and think about kind of like one high rolled, uh, my mentality when I was rolling and training, stuff like that. And I think it always changes. Just like anything else, if you separate into blocks, like you should always be almost progressing, but at the same time, it's gonna go down as well. So I think from blue belt, um, obviously the techniques have gotten better, cleaning them up a little bit, but mentally, you know, coming in here with no really, no goal, no action plan, I'd just come in here and do the moves and then, you know, whatever I saw, what I was working on, that's what I would do. Or I would stick to one thing, close guard, triangle, stuff like that. And then progressing, it's like, okay, that's cool, but, you know, I also need to open up because just to try new things and to keep myself on point and humble, you know? So it was always a matter of, okay, I, I know I can do this, but now it's time to venture out and try something else. And I think that part kind of, it sucks, honestly, because you're starting over and nobody wants to do that. So now guys that you were doing well against, now it's like, oh, this guy's getting the better of me. And so now you start checking yourself mentally. You're like, damn, okay, he's getting the better of me and he, and he knows that, but you know, I know that at some point when I get this down again, just like the last position, it's like, okay, you know, I know at some point I'm gonna get back on top, you know? So it's just one of those things where you're just trying to, everybody says that you're trying to be uncomfortable um, physically, but then mentally as well, you know? Um, but yeah, it's always just trying to progress and, uh, you know, just almost like milestone it. So figure out where you're at right now, whatever that means for you and where you wanna be, man like in six months then the next year and then by purple ball, what do i like what do, what does my training need to look like and what do i need to look like physically or uh technically stuff like that uh, same thing man is this like at the beginning uh, i think it gave me a little bit more mental clarity um it really it, like opened me up like, you know, I was set on doing certain things. I would go to school, play soccer, do whatever. And then once I started doing this, it's like, oh man, now I can open up a little bit more. You know, I'm finding new people. I, I'm not just hanging around the same people all the time. Granted, like we have our solid people that are here, but you know, new people come in. So you start to interacting differently. You have to speak to people differently. You have to teach people differently. Um, so I was at the beginning and then now it's almost the same thing. But now more, man, just start going through I guess like harder phases in life, you know, trying to figure out where you're going, where you're at, where you want to be. And this definitely helps because I know at the end of the day, I can always come back in here and it's almost like a reset or a, um, not a, not a, like a break from the outside, but it's almost like a, helps mellow things out a little bit. So now I can go home and be like, okay, you know, I got my training out of the way. What's next? You know, obviously thinking about the next training session, but I know there's like, there's life in between those two sessions and it's like what are we going to do in between then so man just physically it's helped me a ton because just looking at you know everybody else that comes in here where he's physically in shape it's like man okay so i also want to be a part of you know with my guys like we're all looking good we're feeling good feeling strong and then mentally we're all there and then the same thing mentally like i know you guys go through stuff and so i look at it and i'm like damn okay he's going through something but he's still coming in here these guys are like hurt and still coming in here and so i have no excuse not to be here you know and so that definitely helped too um, and like I said before, it's like that, that quitting portion is like, man, so many times it goes through my mind. It's like, I could just stop, you know, I could just not go back and be like, uh, you know, just find something else to do, but that's not fair to you guys. And it's not fair to me either. So that definitely helps me every day. I'm like, man, like I could quit, but I'm not going to. And so that's why I come in here. And then you see people that quit and you're like, I'm better than that guy. Whatever. If he would beat me in the gym, cool, but you just quit. So now I'm better than you. man um train more you know even like we had a couple of days in the gym i think we were just open to like two days at the beginning you know it's definitely should have found something else i think just train more and honestly just have fun because i think a lot of times we get caught up in for me it was the one when i started competing it was like man i gotta win i want to more for me but then also more for the gym it's like i want my gym to look good and i want the people in it to look good too but i think that builds a lot of unnecessary pressure um, so it's definitely just keep having fun and just keep learning and just keep evolving. I think that was like the main thing because for from white belt to blue belt, it was like a lot of the same stuff, which was fine because I started to get my bearings and stuff. But it's like, don't just settle in one way just because you're good at it or because you feel like you're good at it. It's like do a little bit of everything at first, get more well-rounded 
and then we started sharpening up those tools.